Okay guys, so in this part we will make our blocks uh, reappear again once we uh, click on our mouse. So, let's start. So, first thing we have to do uh, is, I, I hope you understand the events now, or the delegates, at, at least uh, on the basic um, level. So, now let's go to player controller. So, we want to go to the player controller. And we want to define a new event. So this event will be called. Uh, let's write it at the top actually. So it will be easier. So we want to use. A system. Library. So we can get access to this. Uh, nice. Action. So let's write public. Event. Uh, action. And we will call this one on mouse clicked on mouse click so uh, yeah we will call this event every time that we uh, clicked our mouse so we can know how, when to reset our our blocks and yeah the the action thing so maybe let's uh, let's I will explain it very quickly so as you can see on being hit uh, the action means that we want to make an event that will contain subscribers that uh, have the void return, uh, void return type. So they will basically return nothing. So when if you go to block manager, you can see that uh, when we decrease the block count, this is void. And uh, if this would be, for example, the pool, it would give us the error because this action uh, name uh, requires us to make a function that basically returns void and that's why we have action if you want to return the other types like bool or float int you use the other keyword that is called func and you have to specify in in this uh, I don't know how to say them. Uh, the type that you want to return, <clears throat> basically. But we will use action because we don't want to return nothing. We just want to call the function on the other screen. Okay, so now let's go to the player uh, controller. So here we want to do the same. We just want to trigger a, a event that is called on mouse click, and then we can call the other functions thanks to that. So. Oh. We want to call this this event uh, after we clicked our uh, block. So if this returns true, we want to return. So we hit our block, we do nothing. But otherwise, this everything will be called. And at the end, we can basically call this event. So first, again, I told you that we have to check if this uh, has any subscribers. So on mouse click and I can give you a very nice uh, trick because normally you would type something like this on mouse click if it's not equal to null then we can call it like this uh, but there's a more nice neat way to do it more uh, very elegant uh, way so uh, you can do it from the uh, since net. No, okay. So basically, C sharp uh, they has those iterations uh, updates, and uh, now it's called net uh, sharp four or something. Or okay, now it's six, and since number five, I think they add this new type of operator that you can use uh, to make everything look more slick. So. After you specify the name, you just have to add this operator, this new operator, uh, which is basically a question mark, and it, it is called a nullable operator. And here you are just checking if this is null, then do nothing. But otherwise, we continue, and we can invoke this uh, this event. So this. It's equal to this one, and as you can see, this one is um, a lot uh, more beautiful, a lot more 
elegant and I prefer this way but if you prefer this way you can do this this way so I prefer this one so I, I will okay I will uh, comment it so you can still see the the normal one so uh, we can delete the debug function basically so after we click our mouse uh, what we want to do we want to subscribe to, to this event so we want to make all of our blocks active again so may so there's a lot of ways to approach this you can even uh, make each block subscribe to the player controller they will basically make them active again once we click our mouse but there's uh, no need to do that because if you add uh, this to the block script it will run a lot more than if you would add this to the block manager script which already contains all the blocks uh, in the scene and we can basically just subs subscribe to this event from, from block manager and it will be called one time and it saves us a lot of uh, basically calling and subscribing to the to the stuff. So let's go to the block manager and we will do it from here. So let's go down here. So uh, in the subscribe event, we want to also subscribe uh, to on mouse click. So let's write. Uh, yeah, we we have to find the player actually. So. Let's go to the start and we will write or actually there's no 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 need we uh, we don't have to cache it because I thought that we can cache it so make a variable to store our player controller but we will not use it later so there's no sense in caching it uh, we can call it one time here so we'll directly uh, call it from player controller so it will be player controller it, it should start from find object of type and we want to find player controller and then we want to access its method that its event that is called on mouse click and we want to subscribe the function that uh, we will call reset all blocks and let's create this method now so let's go to the end let's add a new method that is called on reset all blocks And basically in here we just want to iterate through each uh, block in our block array so we can copy this line let's iterate through each block and the thing that we want to do is to check if this block is uh, is disabled and if it is we want to re-enable it so let's check this condition so we want to check if block that game check that active self active self so it will return us if this is active or or not so if this equals to false then we want to make it active so we can write block that game object that set active uh, to true and this will make our block active so after the for each loop we just want to reset the length of our block count to be uh, again the number of of uh, of blocks that are within our scene that so it will be block array that length so every time we hit our mouse button again uh, it should make all of the blocks active again and it should reset the number of blocks so now let's go to the uh, project let's see if it works okay let's click on the block manager uh, make uh, just hold your eyes here <laughs> keep your eyes here <laughs> sorry for that weird expression you have four uh, block count and I will maybe let's delete one and you have three so now if I click this one should reappear and it does and as you can see the block count is again four so everything is working nicely let's see if I delete all you can see that we have block count of zero and yeah we we just won but nothing happened because 
uh, we didn't code anything and so if i click again everything should reappear again so i think that will be it for this part guys let's check the time yeah it's 12 minutes so i think we uh it was a very quick tutorial i try i'll try to make them a bit quicker uh and try to explain everything more briefly and more clearly uh, so you can understand everything but uh, i think that i still didn't cover the events that uh, that well uh, but i will try to cover i will try to explain them later in future videos but just just mm, just mm, just see what they do so thanks to that we can basically call an event so i was hit i say that i was hit and everyone that is listening to me uh, you can either help me when i was hit or something so this is like very basic ex explanation of the delegates and this topic is very uh, advanced okay it's intermediate but uh, it's very deep and you can uh, take advantage of them because they are very very nice and they can they are very helpful so make sure to use them every time so uh, typically now i discovered a new way uh, which uh, i prefer so basically i have a scriptable uh, event so uh, I'll, okay it's a topic for another video so uh, thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next one bye bye